<laughs> it's real oh, science. Those things, and I like the thing on the inside. It's like soft. Oh. And then it comes out and it has like one of these that you know everyone has. A billfold thing. Yeah. That's cool. But it's like the travel part. Ah, nice. Mm. What? It came from a real cow too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 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 Anyway. Good night. Yes. Bye, yes. Katie. Tell oh, Brandone I say hi. Brandoni. Tell the brony. <laughs> uh, I gotta make him build PCs all day tomorrow. I gotta make him work. <laughs> exactly. Oh. So. I mean, building PCs, he got lazy at the end, where we did, like, moves every weekend. Mm -hmm. But if it's not physical labor and just installing things, he won't be... No, but he'll get up and, like, walk away for 20 minutes and come back. He'll be like, oh yeah, I'm going to the bathroom. And I'm like, did you get lost in the bathroom? Did you fall in? <laughs> where did you go? Because... <laughs> Should I have called for help? <laughs> Sometimes I just sit on the toilet and play on my iPad, but not at work. <laughs> no, at work. He's at work. <laughs> I do the same with my uh, 3DS. <laughs> and then my legs start to fall asleep, and I'm like, alright, time to get up. I know, for me it's always my right leg, and it feels so weird to walk on a foot that's asleep. Mm. They're gone! What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. Tell him yeah, the don't truth. Because he tells you like where the secret is or something. Mm, he'll tell you anyways. Left, left, well, straight, you're right. You're gonna get Gino, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. You can wait yeah, I'm gonna keep going, Katie. I'm not I'm tired. I'm really not tired. That's fine. Well, Gino is about to happen. <laughs> I know, but I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. All right. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I gotta, I gotta sleep. A well, we're bit. recording this anyways, so. That's fine. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Did I even look? Oh, I didn't even go to this website that Katie gave us. Bosses does. Oh, she said a comic. For Zaruda. Steven! I don't know, what is this blog site? <laughs> Which one do you think I'd go to? Uh, am I really a Mario? You betcha! He won't believe you anyway. Or does he? Uh, he wants yeah, me to you jump. Do a jump. Yeah, you give me a chance to say no. Mario just bought the farm. Mm -hmm. I'd want to play his Bowser. Oh, he is playing his Bowser. Yep. And then you get Gino. Gino, the anime. <laughs> Super duper! Another person that doesn't wear pants. <laughs> well, to be fair, the only two in the party that don't is Bowser and Gino. Bowser's a turtle, though. Gino's Pinocchio. Yeah, and Malo only wears pants. I gotta get, make sure I can get his uh, Geno world down. Do, 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 do. You have to make sure you gotta get what now? Get his Geno world down, the timing for it. Oh, yeah. Were you, I hardly ever did that. I was never really good at that at all. I 
yeah, I maybe got lucky sometimes. Chino's pretty cool, so hopefully he'll work out in Smash Brothers. <laughs> Is he in it? No. Mm -hmm. Be pretty cool though. Then he'd do like the Gino Flash. That would happen though. Huh? I mean, they have the move set for him from this game. Yeah. All I gotta do is. Bye. Oh, I can't leave. I saw Gino walking. Oh my god, it's amazing, Gino! Gino! I didn't know I could walk around in this part. I thought this. Die. I thought this was a set thing. Maybe it's emulator. No? Well, whatever. Well, where were you supposed to be anyway? Uh, by the stairs, I thought it was where, but I didn't know I could walk around while they were talking. Anyways. To the maze! With the billion mushrooms that we can trade for later. And get a rare candy, maybe. But so watch out! Beware the forest mushrooms! Ha ha ha! Oh wait, that was a normal one. There's one. I think Gino's level 7. When I get him. Um... Yeah, because that's where this... I start. Where the what? A level guide for Gino. Okay. Uh, where it starts. Perhaps I should. And then nine and ten. Maybe I'll grind or something. Wait, aren't you gay? Aren't they six? Or Five. Anyone? There it is. We just said Malo turn six. Oh, you're right. So Mario's close. He needs six more experience points. Perhaps this bee will give us. With Donkey Kong in chains. At level 6, it is my recommendation that you get POW from Mario. Okay. I'll just trust you. Oh, poison is no fun in Mario RPG. This early on, at least. I don't really remember it. I think this was really one of the only areas that you could get poison. No. Maybe. I somewhat remember it near the end of the game as well. They definitely don't do it a lot later. Go in another place. Something reminds me of another poison place where you're, there's water. Uh, the boat? Probably. Yeah, I think one of the ghosts is able to poison you. Yeah. And cast fear on you. Ugh, fear is bad. Yeah, you get weak to everything. Isn't that the one where you shake, too, and you're, you're, you're weak to everything, and your pow is weak? Yep. Your back is horrible. Yep. Horrible. Terrible. I'm excited for Malo's next magic, though, even though it'll probably come after the fact. Oh, Malo's a mushroom. No, you still have Mallow, because you don't get the character after Gino for a while. Is it for a while? Yeah, I guess there's still, uh... I think you could get to level 10 before you get him. Hmm. At the rate I'm playing? Mm, yeah. I mean, but you have to go through all of Mole Town. Yeah. Hill. 
I mean, Star Hill could easily be completely run through. Oh yeah, I mean, you could finish that in like two minutes. But I like reading all of the uh, wishes. Yeah, they're cute. And then you get the Malos. And everybody gets sad. And they're like, oh, storyline. Um, let's see. 7965 till the next. How much money do I have? Oh, okay. 366? Yeah. It seems like a lot. Yeah, I, I have a lot of money because I did have a little grinding session with the uh, shysters. The shysters! Shyster! There's a red essence somewhere. Um, comes in. Oh, that's after you get all of your characters. Monster Town's one of my favorites. Hey, Monster Town's awesome. But that's later. That's much later. Evil Seeds. Yes! Oh no, we're out of space. What? Can I get rid of. Oh. So many mushrooms. Yeah. There's Gino. There he is. I never know where to go on this one, I think. I think it's left? No, I think it's right. Because that was the only one I couldn't see him. There he is. It might be any of them. Got it. Hey. Got it, coach. Yeah, he's got like Bowser's haircut. And he's got sharp teeth too. And uh, his name is Boyer. Monkeys. If you just change that to an S. And I'm just gonna go in there swinging like Bruce Lee. <laughs> I can't believe they even say Bruce Lee. Yeah, I know. Did you play all of the uh, three Mass Effects? No. I honestly the last when we were recording that playthrough that's the most I've played through <laughs> Mass Effect. Any Mass Effect or just that one? If Any Mass Effect, even though I have two. I remember Greg let me borrow his. It's like Greg's played all three of them, I think multiple times. Yeah, they're Two's good really games. I just, eh. I don't know. Hard for me to get into it. This path that you're going on now always reminded me of, like, Zelda Link to the Past, the path right before the Master Sword. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I always thought that part was weird as a kid, but it's not that weird, actually looking at it now. Gunya! Nya! Huh? Master Sword or that part in RPG? That, that part uh, in RPG where they're running there, I was like, they weren't that far away. Depends how fast you go through the dialogue. I suppose. Okay, Boyer is more attack than anything. Um, he's got 720 HP, 50 attack, 40 defense, 30 magic attack, and 35 magic defense. He is resistant to much. He cannot be feared, poisoned, put to sleep, or silenced. I don't think you have the ability to do any to of those. To do any of those, no, I don't. Um, and he has no weaknesses. But he's vulnerable still. Oh! Yeah, defense, I feel this is that great. I love his arm attack, it's so cool. I always felt it was better than the actual first weapon you get for him. It I just feels cooler, though. I always, you know, believed in my heart it was better, but it... Eight. Oh boy. Watch out for his static E. Yes. Oh, I that... get it now. Static E. Leave pun on words. This game's full of those. I'm gonna do psychopath. See what he has to say. What's with these folks? No. 
That's okay. If you follow this strategy, you'll guarantee that Boyer will never disable A, use Static E, or Lightning. What? Your first turn, use regular attack with all of your characters. Your second turn, put everyone on defense. Repeat this until Boyer is defeated. <laughs> Alright, I'll try it when it changes. Uh, with this strategy, Boyer will either disable X or Y, which means you can... Uh, uh, which means you still need to keep recovery items just in case you can't use HP Rain. With the wake up pin on Malo to keep your healer from falling asleep. Just in case Boyer uses goodnight. Too late. Oh. Gino Beam. Gino Beam! I always thought I was doing this wrong. Yeah, you let go when that third one shows up. This seems too easy. Uh, let's see what Fire Orb does. No, you know what? No, no. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use a mushroom or something. I have a billion of them anyways. What do you get for them? You said you trade them in? I don't remember trading mushrooms. Yeah, you trade the mushrooms you find in the forest in at um, Seaside Town. Alright, so yeah. what do I do? Three, these... First three are gonna be attack. Yeah, so just have everyone use attack A, attack A, attack A, and then on the next turn have everyone defend. Or I mean, if you need to use a healing item, go for it. But yeah, I'm probably gonna use one for Gino. Oh no! No, he can't fall asleep. He has got the pin on him. Okay. <laughs> and he's just not going to use uh, Static E for some reason? Yeah, apparently with this, he will not use Static E or, or Lightning Orb, it says. This is an IGM FAQ. Oh, wait, no, that's not what it is. Uh-oh. He can fall asleep, though. A, a wiki strategy guide that I'm reading off of. Interesting. Or just throw juice at him until he wakes up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, so I did, um... One race with using Metal Mario, mm -hmm. and he's really good. Yeah, he is. Because they made him like really heavy because he's metal, and especially in 150 CC, that's really beneficial. Be Drifts and stuff. Everyone likes to smash into you. Oh, but I got really mad. I did the. After getting Metal Mario, I did one of the other cups, because all you have to do to get the characters is, you know, get gold in 150. Mm -hmm. um, and I did, uh, whatever the first cup is, I think it's Leaf or something. And I got gold, and I got first every race, but I only got two stars. Really? Maybe yeah, your I times really weren't good enough. I ran into it, and um, it said that... Also getting three stars. Besides, you have to get 40 points, so you have to get first on every race. Also, um, that's how often or how long you're in first place. And, um, you can only fall off the course, like, a total of, like, two times throughout the whole Grand Prix. Interesting. Do you get something for getting all stars? If you get all, um, once you beat every, um, race, every Grand Prix and beat Mirror Mode, um, you get, your profile gets stars on it, depending on, um, let's say you have at least one star on all races, your profile gets one star. If you have two stars on all races, you get two stars. If you have 
all three stars on all races. Your profile has three stars next to it, like how uh, uh, Super Mario 3D Land gives you stars. Nice, okay. So that's for, like, online stuff, then? Yeah, other people online can see your profile and see, oh, you have three stars, you must have played this game a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And I was reading how to unlock the gold car parts. Mm -hmm. and either you have to collect like a bajillion coins. Like I think the last car part, you gold car part you get is twenty thousand coins, or some like uh, like two hundred street passes for one star, a lot of online racing for another star, and I think you just have to buy one. Gold car parts seem like they're really hard. Yeah, or it will take a long time. Yeah. Are you gonna try? Oh, I'll, I'll beat Mario Kart eventually. I just get mad at that game because I feel they rubber band pretty hardcore in that game. Yeah. Rubber band, and then they'll do some, like some bad item timing to really screw you up. Extremely bad. One of them, I was, I could hear the blue shell coming. And it hit me, like, I was practically on the finish line. And then some, I got in, like, fourth, because they're in 150cc, they're all grouped together, because they're all fast. Yeah. And they all lost me at once, because I was hit by the blue shell. I never do this. No? I'm not very good. I missed the golden Goomba. I've missed it three times. I've missed everything. Oh my god. I'm just gonna camp out at one. Two points! What do you get for this if you get... I don't remember. I don't think you get anything that great. Oh my god! Maybe it's probably a flower thing. Usually things like that. Usually Later. <laughs> Probably yeah. just a tab. Yeah. Oh, did you get your flower jar from Boyer? I didn't use it. Use it when you're out of flowers. Flower power, that is. It's a box. Ooh, flower box. Yeah, because that replenishes all your flower points and gives you more. Can't use it in battle, though, right? That's what I was just going to ask you. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Nope. No! Not Mario. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. At least, um... Status ailments disappear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they, they do in most RPGs, I realize. That's really not worth it. You got two coins and lost probably like... 30. 